Grant, your thoughts on that one this afternoon? Yeah, good test. Um, you know, they've recruited well here at Scunthorpe over the over over the pre-season. Um, so we knew it was going to be a good test, similar to the York game. Um, some aspects of the game I liked, some I didn't. Um, so again, there's, there's a lot to work on. Um, two weeks today to the first game, so uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, we can show more in terms of what we're working on the training ground. What in particular pleased you? Um, look, I thought the boys give give us everything. Really, they, they were getting about. Uh, I felt maybe in the first 60 minutes we didn't we didn't get around second balls enough. We didn't probably didn't compete um, to a level where I, where I believe we could get to. Um, and I think when you're playing against you know non-league teams, that's the basics you have to do first and foremost. Um, and then you get your bit your, your bit of play after that. So um, yeah, look, there's a lot of lot to do for us still. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take a bit of time, but I feel as if we're moving in the right direction. What were the messages coming into this one? What did you want from from this afternoon? Well, 60 minutes into the group, we didn't play against York, obviously, and, and then 30 into the others. So again, that was pleasing that we've managed to you know get two 45s. 260s uh, into the group so far. Now we can we can step it up again next week with with 90 minutes into the group on on Tuesday against Sheffield Wednesday and and, and Middlesbrough at the training ground. So it's um, both groups are playing 90 on Tuesday, which are brilliant for us. What have you made to sort of fitness levels at this stage? Are, you, are they on course for where you like fitness, them to be? The fitness is as good. The, the group's good in terms of the, the fitness. Look, there's a lot of work in terms of how we want to play to still to be done. Um, worked a bit on in possession. We need to be more ruthless in terms of what we want from out of possession. Um, you know, a lot of the group just need to understand that we are about. You know, we're not. We're not. Myself and Cliff are not coaches, or I'm not a manager that would ever have a pop at anyone for losing the ball. But I would if they don't react. Um, and I think we need to understand that reaction is really important for us, and we need to make sure. You know, once we win it back, we have to press quick. We have to win it back, regardless what position you end up in the pitch. Has that been the focus then on the training ground now? The more the, the more football side of it is we at that stage. Just a bit of everything, really. You know, we're, we're building the tolerance with our group. Um, we believe there's a lot, you know there's a lot of injuries last year, uh, and it's something we've had to be mindful of. We've, you know, we've built them up really nice. Um, amazing to see John Taylor get 60 minutes today. You know, looked full of energy. Uh, when Tommy Rowe went down, he wanted to get back on again. It just shows the enthusiasm of him. So um, we're really pleased, and obviously we've. We've got a couple of knocks and niggles, but nothing serious in the camp. And you know, we're two weeks away from the first game of the season. We want to keep it like that with with a fully fit squad. How has John Taylor reacted to everything? Obviously, it's been a very, very difficult period for him over a long period of time, not played an awful lot of football. But how has he reacted to, to training and getting these minutes? He's been brilliant. Um, he's got a, he's got a spring in his step every single day. Um, that, that's a massive massive marker for him now today it's a big benchmark for him now to play 60 minutes you know we were maybe worried in case maybe we think 45 maybe the next step for him um, but when I spoke to him at half time he was he was like I'm ready to go um, so we're really pleased for him um, now we just need to see how he recovers in time for Tuesday uh, maybe a bit too soon for him but we'll see um, because we want to try and keep tails fit for the for the season because we know how big he'll be him being comfortable as well that's a big part of it isn't it yeah, I mean he's he's looking great. We played him on the left of a three today uh, in the first half. He's he's played on the left of a diamond for me before at Peterborough. So it's not strange to him. Um, and and he's you know he's putting a sheer shift in there in terms of his pressing, his releasing. Um, so I was really pleased to see. So perhaps a different side to Tyler Roberts, particularly in that first half, in terms of him getting back and covering and putting those challenges. Yeah, he in. was back too much. I thought. I think he came back in positions where he didn't really need to. Um, so that's that's something we need to keep working with Tyler and, and Deji and Hursty, Malls, um, Tails, just to get them in them positions for when we win the ball back. Um, so it's um, yeah, it's the honesty of them. That's all it is. You know they just want to work hard, but we need them in positions where they can affect the game. I've seen a couple of players go out on loan. Tavonga Kalea, Jack Dagushi off to Mask United. What are you you're pleased to get them out because that's what you're you're after. Yeah, it's it's great to see the boys going out. Jack Goodman will go out as well um, to Gainsborough. So. Um, brilliant to see the three lads, um, you know, going out to play some games. Um, it's important f for us, you know. It's there's only so much you can do in the training ground, and and, and get yourself a playing men's football is everything for young players, particularly the ones who's just broken through the academy. So um, it's great for them.